Hello again, my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Hai Sam Ali, and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today, we'll speak about the Airbus A321 new design for the fuel system, or different design from the regular A320 family. As you can see here, we will spot today on the transfer system that started with the Airbus A321 that do replace the electrical booster bump in the old design. Now, all the family having, having this transfer system design into all the family A318, 19, and 20 also classic and neo aircraft. So, why Airbus elected to remove center tank electric bump? center tank electric bump and replace this design by transfer system this is for or to enhance the safety of the center tank and to reduce electrical component inside the center tank as due to regulation and many other accidents that do happen before center tank is the most flammable tank and center tank is the first tank to got be empty during flight. The first tank to be embedded in flight. So inside the tank will be fuel vapor and oxygen due to ventilation. So if any spark or ignition happen into the center tank, it may explode. Thanks now to the nitrogen generation system that will supply nitrogen and replace oxygen and decrease the oxygen percentage inside the center tank to protect the center tank. Okay. Also, uh, as a design change, Airbus change and remove the electrical booster bump from the center tank and replace it with the transfer system. This transfer system consists of a transfer valve and a mechanical jet bump. Transfer valve and the mechanical jet bump. Only if the, transfer, if the transfer valve is open and the booster bump on the side is operating, so now some fuel will be go through the mechanical jet bump and do the Bernoulli principle and suck fuel from the center tank and having this fuel into the wing tank. But if the transfer valve is closed, no transfer of fuel from the center tank into the wing tank. Okay, so this is called a transfer system. Transfer valve and the mechanical jet bump. Transfer valve and the mechanical jet bump. Now there is no electrical booster bump inside the center tank. This design is starting from the Airbus A321 and now has its way into the old family, classic family, classic engine option family, and the new engine option family. Now we only have four booster bump instead of six. Two on uh, inside the left wing inner cell and the two into the right wing inner cells. Okay. Also, the fuel supply is divided into left hand side and right hand side thanks to the cross feed valve. Thanks to the cross feed valve. Okay. Also, I need to mention that. Center tank transfer system has a push button in the cockpit and the mode selection of the center tank's transfer system is always in auto. If something happens, the pilot may change the transfer system from auto to manual. But my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance personnel, you need to take care during aircraft refuel. During aircraft refuel, when the new crew coming into the cockpit you need to assure that when you put the switches of the uh, wing tank on you need to assure that the mode select of the transfer system is at auto because if it is mistakenly left on manual that means that the transfer valve will be open and you now put the 
بوستر بامب اون سو ذا ميكانيكال جيت بامب ويل هاف موتيف فورس فروم ذا بوستر بامب اند انسيسري اور انونت ترانسفير اوف فيول فروم ذا سنتر تانك تو ذا وينج تانكس ويل هابن سو ذات فيول مي سبيل انتو ذا فينت سيرج تانك اند ذا اير كرافت مي برينج فيول فروم ذا فينت سيرج تانك سبيلش انستنت دو هابن بيكوز ذا بايلوت ميستيكنلي ليفت ذا موت سيلكت بوش بوتون اوف ذا سنتر تانك ترانسفير سيستم اون مانيوال وين ذي بوت ذا بوستر بامب اون ديورينج ريفيول اوبريشن The spillage situation is not coming, or the problem of the spillage will not coming from the refuel valve not close, but will come because the center tank fuel will transfer from the center tank into the wing tank, and the wing tank may be full now, so that fuel may be transferred from the wing tank through ventilation tubes into the vent surge tank, and the spillage situation may arise. And a spillish situation may arise. Okay, everybody. What about this? This is a low pressure valve. Each engine do have a low pressure valve. Engine one low pressure valve. Engine two low pressure valve. Sorry, engine two low pressure valve and ABU low pressure valve. This valve will normally open and close with the master lever or master switch for the ABU. And low pressure fuel valve may be abnormally close with releasing the fire push button. When you release the fire push button, this low pressure valve may close or will close in case of engine fire situation. Engine fire situation. The ABU has a single bump. The ABU has a single bump as you can see here. And for the A321, we just have one wing tank, no inner and outer cell into the wing tank of the Airbus A321, Airbus A321. Okay, so as you can see here, the A321 fuel tank are integrated into the center fuselage area and the wings, like the A318, 19 and 20, the center tank is part of the center wing box, but unlike the A318, 19 and 20, the wing tanks are not divided. The tanks are simply called left and right wing tanks. Left and right wing tanks. Okay, everybody. Thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aviation Nuggets by Hay Ali. This is a performance support tools and performance support nuggets for your awareness and for act as a recurrent or a refresh information to your knowledge but always depend on your formal way manual for formal training and for on your flight crew operating manual or on the uh, aircraft maintenance manual please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this to increase your awareness regarding aircraft systems, basic knowledge, and for the Airbus uh, aircraft. Thank you. Have a good day, and I will see you so soon. Bye-bye.